So here we go, day seven. A very smoky morning rolling out of Twin Tree. Smoke came in last night and we were sitting down for dinner. She's pretty hazy this morning, but can't really see much. Uh, at this point, we're just crossing our fingers that smoke clears in two days when we walk through Robson. That'd be nice. Well, to this point, the only ford we've actually had to do was Blue Creek. For the most part, any of the creeks or streams that we had to cross that we should have had to ford, the water levels have been so low that you could just rock hop across real easily. Coming up to the twin tree here that we're crossing. Oh, and we get a nice bridge. walk-in. Made it to Donaldson Creek. We're gonna have lunch here and then we only got another AK to challenge so it should be a pretty early day today. Definitely look forward to sitting down and getting some food in. Pretty pretty barren campsite though. Bear hang line here. Common area. I'm assuming the tent pads are somewhere back in here. Or... Rolling out of Donaldson campground. Uh, pretty shitty campground. It's pretty marshy down here, lots of bugs, but fueled up after a good lunch. Should be coming up on the... This is the best part of Donaldson. Kirsten says this is the best part of Donaldson. I'll agree, the creek is really pretty. But still no views today. Still smoked in. Well, we are here at the bridge over the Smoky River. You see these markings a lot? The FTC 90? That's the Flying Trail Crew. This bridge got built in 1990. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Just showed up at the Smoky River Patrol Cabin. It's pretty cool showing up to a place like this. Kind of neat. So uh, as awesome as the cabin here at Smoky River is, I think uh, the abundance of wild blueberries is even better. Definitely a good spot to take a break. This is wonderful. Oh my god. <laughs> Fresh fucking blueberries. Mmm. So good. We are more or less set up here at Chown Creek. Got some stuff up to dry. We got a bit of a breeze, so even though it's cloudy as hell, we're not getting a whole lot of sun, but. The campsite here at Town Creek is wicked, but the water source is silty as shit. Like. Like that is like cloudy. So gonna run it through the platypus gravity filter. See what we can do with it. Okay, so run the filter through. 
from this to clear, clean drinking water. And for anyone who says that you don't need to use filters in the backcountry, I'm going to back flush this thing just to show you guys. Now, I back flush my filter every single time I'm done with it. Every single time I pack it up, I back flush it so it's clean every single time I put it away. I have ran two liters through it from the water source here. Okay, now we're going to back flush. Look at the shit that comes out of this thing. Okay, so three slides was really nice, but I, I'm, I'm going to bite the bullet and say that I think Chown Creek is my favorite campsite on this trail so far. I, I don't see how Adolphus is going to blow this away, but like this is unreal. Like We're just going wandering from camp, finding a nice little cleaner creek to grab some water from, but like... Like, even with the smoke and the haze, this is epic here. Oh. Okay, so I took a pretty good stumble today. Literally right before we got to this camp. I just I stepped on a rock that I didn't see on the other side of a route and it rolled and my hip kind of went and popped a bit. Definitely feeling it. And uh was looking through my first aid kit for some blister repair stuff and found these. Lindsay, thank you. These are gonna fucking save me the rest of the way on this fucking trip. Thank you.